Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Elementary OS. In a previous video, I showed you how to create an Elementary OS USB drive. You will need to follow that video in order to create the USB drive to be able to follow on with this installation guide. The link to the video describing how to create a USB drive is included in the description for this video. Insert the USB drive into your computer and press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. Use the arrow key to select the drive that you installed Elementary to and press return. Click try or install Elementary OS. A long integrity check then takes place. A load of text will now appear on the screen and then a, another screen will appear asking you to choose your installation language. Choose your installation language and then choose your keyboard layout. When the try or install screen appears, you need to click the erase disk and install. Note that all the data on the drive that you choose to install elementary to will be deleted if you choose this option. So it's better to choose a drive that is completely empty already. Select the drive that you're going to install elementary on and then click the erase and install button. You can now choose whether to encrypt your home drive or not. This is a discussion for another video. For the purposes of this installation guide, I'm not choosing the encrypt option. The main installation will now begin. You can take a break at this point and go and get a drink and come back later on. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes depending on the speed of the drive you're writing. Eventually the installation will come to a natural conclusion and all you have to do is restart your device and remove the USB drive. When the computer starts up, press the relevant function key to bring up your boot menu and then select the drive that you installed elementary to. When the grub menu appears, choose elementary, which is the first option. The language selection screen will appear again. You need to choose your language and the keyboard layout as you did previously. You can now create your user account, uh, enter your name, uh, username, enter a password, repeat the password, and then choose the host name for your computer. Finally, you'll be able to log into Elementary and the Elementary desktop will appear in front of you. That is the end of the video. In the next video, I'll show you all the features of Elementary and give you a full review. Thank you for watching. Remember to click like and subscribe for more videos.